Hi, this is Willow from Willow Bird Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom shop banner on your iPad using the free InkPad app. The first thing you're going to do when you open the app is select the Add button, that's the plus sign at the top of the screen. Make sure it's in landscape mode and you're going to select custom size and then hit the little circle with the eye. In the fields for width and height, you're going to add whatever values you need for the site that you're planning to upload your banner to. I'm creating a banner for Etsy, so the custom size is 760 pixels by 100 pixels. After you've entered those values, hit New Drawing and then hit Create. Now you've got your new document open, you've got your grid where you're going to create your drawing and your toolbar over on the side. I'm going to use photos from my camera roll to create my banner. So what you need to do to do this is select the add photos button at the top of the screen. Then select your camera roll and find whatever photo it is that you want to upload. This is a drawing that I did of a chickadee sitting on a pussy willow branch. The original drawing was done with pencil crayons and then scanned into my computer, which I then emailed to myself on my iPad. Obviously this image is much too large for my banner, so I need to resize it. You need to select the resize tool on the toolbar. Then resize your image by dragging your finger to the left. I like to make it just slightly larger than the grid to avoid the possibility of any gaps around the photo in the finished banner. I would like two copies of this chickadee on my banner, one on either side, so I need to duplicate this image. To do that, select Edit at the bottom of the screen, and then you're going to select Duplicate. So I've done that, now I have two copies of the same photo. Now notice that I still have the resize tool selected. If I was to try to move that second image right now, it would resize instead and cause a nightmare. So make sure you don't touch the image until you've selected the select button at the top of the screen. I'm not going to quite do that yet because I'm going to do a couple of things first. I want to have the chickadees each looking in towards the center of the banner. That means that I have to flip one of them horizontally. So I'm going to flip this top one. So hit Arrange at the bottom of the screen and then click Flip Horizontally. So now that photo is flipped. Now I'm ready to move it, but remember once again you must select the Select button before you do that or you will resize it. Alright, so now Select is selected and I can move that image. So move your one photo and then select the other one and move it as well. Now both of those photos are in the right spot and we're ready to begin the center of the banner. I'm going to begin by filling in the middle of the banner with color. So to do that I'm going to select the rectangle tool. Now in order for the rectangle to have sharp corners you need to make sure that the corner radius is set to zero points. This little box here comes up automatically when you select the uh, square tool. If you go to the Tools tab at the top of the screen and select Snap to Points, that makes it so that when you draw a rectangle it will automatically line up with the edges of the other things you've got on your page. It just makes it easier to do without having to be super, super precise. So now I've drawn a rectangle. Now you want to select the Stroke tab and you can decide whether you want your rectangle to have an outline. I actually don't, so I have none selected here. Um, but if you want to have an outline, you can select the color and the width of the stroke. In that case, instead of having none selected like I do, you would have color selected. Now I do want to have a fill color, so that's this tab down at the bottom to the left of the little colored grid. And you can just create a color by sliding the sliders around. You can decide how opaque you want it to be by sliding this bar. I actually want to create a custom color that I've drawn from my chickadee drawing. To do that, 
just select the eyedropper tool and then select in your photo whatever color it is you want to use as your fill color. I selected from the bud on the pussy willow. Now it's time to add text. Select the text tool, enter your text. The keyboard will come up automatically when you select the text field. Now you can decide what color you want the outline and fill color of your text to be. I want both of them to be white. Make sure you have color selected rather than none if you want to have an outline. So I've got my stroke set to be white. In order to do that, slide your sliders all the way to the right hand side and this saturation slider to the right to 100% as well. And you want to have color selected for your fill as well. Once again, I've done white, so all the sliders all the way to the right hand side. Now I'm going to change the font. So select the font tab at the bottom of the screen, that's the big capital A and then you can select whatever font you want, whatever size font you want. And you can select your text and move it to get it perfectly centered. Okay, now you're ready to save your banner. Just click the Share tab at the top of the screen and you can add it to your photo album. From there you can upload it to Etsy or whatever other site you're using. For some reason I had a loss of quality going from my iPad photo album to Etsy. I'm not sure why that happened. You sh can certainly try just doing it this way because it eliminates a step. But if you have problems with that as well, what I did is I exported the file as either PNG or PDF, both work. Then this screen will come up and you just select share again. Then I just mailed that to myself, saved it on my computer, and then uploaded it from my computer to Etsy. You may also be able to save the image from this screen to your photo album and then upload it. That might work. I don't know. I haven't actually tried that. Anyway, there you have it. You've created a custom banner. Thanks for watching, and please visit my blog at www.willowbirdstudio.com.